internet 64 guy coming at you from my game room and today we're going to talk about uh my controller collection or part of my controller collection there are a total of 11 controllers in this collection seven of them were released in north america four of them were released only in australia it's just the packaging style so yeah let's get right into the video the first three we're going to talk about were only released in north america and we're going to start off with the easiest of the ones to find that i found anyways when i was collecting these that is the smoke. This was only released in blister packaging in North America. They had a clear black variant in um, Japan. At the time when I collected this, I paid 250 bucks for it, which would have been right around 2013, 2014. Next is exclusive to Toys R Us. I paid 200, or no, I traded a copy of Castlevania for this one. That is the gold with the Toys R Us exclusive in the top. This was also released in boxed form in Japan as well. I don't have that, unfortunately. And then, last but not least, this is the hardest of the seven blister controllers to find. I searched for it for about three or four years before I found mine. I paid $510 at the time, and that is... The watermelon blister controller unfortunately this is a little yellowed but it's super duper rare and i'm super happy to have it this was only released in blister form in north america and then was also released alongside the console completed box so now we have the four controllers that were released in both formats complete in box and blister so we're going to start off with the easiest of the four to find which I found anyways, that is the fire. This blister is in very, very good shape. I picked this up right around 2014, I believe, or 2015. It was around $500. And then we have the Australian variant of it, which is a boxed variant. These are extremely tough to find because they were only ex they were exclusive to Australia. I've got the controller here on a stand from Rose Color Gaming. So that's the easiest of the four Funtastics from Australia to find. Next up, we have the grape. So we got the grape blister from North America here. These were uh, released in two formats in North America. They had the USA style, which most of mine are. And then there's also the Canadian variant, which had uh, French text below the controller. Next up, we have the Australian variant box. This is in fairly decent shape. And then we've got her here on a stand as well. Third, rarest, or well, third in place is ice. I paid, I think, 200 for this blister. Back, that was the, one of the first ones I bought right around 2013. Then we've got the boxed Australian variant. There's sticker residue, unfortunately, on this one, but it's pretty rare. And next up. Of course, we've got it on a rose-colored gaming stand again. And then last but not least, we have the hardest of the Australian ones to find. We'll start off with the blister, and that is the Jungle Green. This was released in two different boxed formats. So it was the DK bundle and the Fantastic bundle for the console as well. And then it was released in two formats, the blister and complete in box for the controller. Uh, at the time I collected this, I th think it was $300 for that controller, but I'm not, I don't remember exactly. Unfortunately, this box has a bit of damage on the front, but it's the hardest one to find. Super happy to have it in the collection, but yeah, unfortunately, it's got a rip there. 
And then we have it, last but not least, on the Rose Color Gaming Stand again. And flip this around so we can see them all. And there you have it. That is the complete, fantastic blister collection plus complete in box Australian exclusive fantastic collection. If you enjoyed the video, if you like N64, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and I don't know, if you like me randomly rambling on about things, leave a comment. Anyways, 64 guy out.